Hey, what's up, guys? It's Prophet. I'm here, and we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 116, just because I thought it was actually an extremely incredible episode, not trying to be a Dragon Ball Super dick rider, but at the same time, I wanted to go over really the likes and dislikes of this episode, what really stood out to me, and like what I thought were good aspects of the episode. This episode actually had, you know, brought back a lot of things from the past uh, and put into this episode, but I kind of wanted to go over first uh, the likes and dislikes and, and oh, and almost I'm gonna try to be chronological with how the episode goes, but we'll see how this goes. This is my first video in a while, and please be patient. But I'm just really glad to be back because I miss making videos, honestly. Now with the end of episode 115, we know that Goku went to Ultra Instinct, and I wasn't really personally thinking that we were going to see it actually this soon, but with how powerful they made Kefla, I mean, they almost, there was no other way to for Goku to defeat Kefla, and since Kefla knocked out Goku with a kick, and then that triggered apparently his Ultra in Instinct, and Whis actually comments that Kefla was the power level of the Spirit Bomb, which I'm going to put in like my middle, like it was kind of a weird point because does that mean Kefla was the power of Goku's spirit bomb? Like, I don't really know how you quantify that, but uh, you know, Goku goes into it with being a bit more conscious of the fact that he's an Ultra Instinct. He actually says that I will master Ultra Instinct. Well, that's in the beginning of the episode if you're watching the Japanese cut, I believe, like one of the versions didn't have it. But he, when he says Ultra Instinct while he's in the Ultra Instinct, I don't exactly remember what the dialogue was, but, um, that's not the point. The point was that he is, seems to be more aware in this form. And, you know, throughout the episodes, he sees, like, the heat radiating off of him and knows, like, his power is about to run out towards the end of the episode. But trying to stay chronological here, uh, I also like that Kefla really, like, a lot of people haven't really liked her character too much. But I thought that this episode served it just her character justice and made me like it like her a lot more because a lot of people have been saying, oh, she's too overpowered. But, like, you gotta imagine this, like, Vegito was pretty overpowered, too, so, like, um, it, it, I mean, she goes through Super Saiyan 2 also through this episode, I thought she might hit 3, but she actually just only hit 2, uh, she was super strong, and, but, I honestly was thinking, like, like, there was dialogue, <laughs> there was dialogue between characters trying to gauge, like, how strong Kefla was, and, like, I'm kind of getting that if Goku was perhaps, like, fully, like, he didn't just go against Jiren, like, what, five minutes ago, or whatever, it might be in the time, term of power, but that if Goku was actually at full health, he would be able to mop the floor with Kefla, pop, perhaps with just Kaioken, not even having to use Ultra Instinct, but the Ultra Instinct, he was just mopping the floor with Kefla, like, he did not, I don't think, Kefla did not land a single punch on him, which I really liked about this episode, because it, it like, it was kind of just like the Jiren-Goku fight the first time around, like, except it, the roles were reversed where Goku was Jiren and Kefla was Goku, where Goku in the original Jiren fight could not hit, land a hit on Jiren whatsoever. Like even towards the end, like his last attack was not doing anything, which I liked carried over to this episode because Goku wasn't doing any damage to Kefla, even in the, uh, his ultra instinct form, uh, which we says, obviously, if you've watched the episode that he he's only mastered or tapped into the, a version of uh, tactics with that goes along, along with ultra instinct that doesn't really make sense how i worded it but where like he actually can dodge people unconsciously perhaps something with synapses but i hope we'll get that explained more but now he he has a mastered i guess a damage part or part of ultra instinct and a lot of people are thinking vegeta next episode might or in the future might master the damage or the uh, the other part that Goku hasn't tapped into of Ultra Instinct, which I thought would be cool. Now, I really wanted to make a comment on this episode. Like, this episode feel felt very much like a Dragon Ball Z episode or like a classic. It made me, you know, I um, Chibi Review said it made him feel like a kid again. I really agree with that. Um, I was getting nostalgia flashbacks to just, like, uh, Goku versus, like, uh, Frieza or something like that, where there was just yelling, uh, powering up for the first half of the, half of the episode. It was just them yelling and powering up Kefla and Goku, Goku especially, which Goku was powering up with Ultra Instinct, which I thought was interesting. Um, I'm not sure if that, I, we'll see. We gotta learn about more about Ultra Instinct, but that perhaps the fact that he was powering up for so long played a fact into him using up his Ultra Instinct so fast. In, like, even in Japan, I just saw a tweet before 
before recording this video by Ken Zyro, I'll uh, link in the description that Japan, I think there is an 82% positivity rating towards uh, episode 116, which was like a 20% increase roughly from last week's episode, which a lot of people loved, but were giving shit because of the animation and also Kefla just being so damn OP and tearing apart Goku. But it w so I think it has to do with like the callbacks to Dragon Ball Z and just the fact that the animation this episode was really good. Um, but it really like talking about the animation gets into my biggest complaint about this episode, which was extremely disappointing that there was a lot, a lot of reused animation for Goku, Kefla, and even Piccolo, like in Gohan, like almost, it seemed like, like they were just reusing scenes for talking with, with Piccolo and Gohan talking, just using the same scenes, but different dialogue. And then, uh, for Goku, they were using reused Jiren versus Goku, uh, animation, which, it looked good because it looked amazing when it happened with Goku, but, like, you can almost, like, it doesn't fit exactly in this, in in the episode, because there's a lot of different, like, animation, or different animators going on, I think, in this episode particularly. I'm not great on the animation side, knowledge-wise, but this is just how I'm, um, this is how I just see it. But either way, the animation was really good and it was a step up from last week's. So I like, even though there was the reused animation, they only used good animations for Kefla and Goku. Everything about the battle just looks so good. You could feel the impacts. I know a lot of people say that, but you could really like feel Goku just dodging all of Kefla's attacks. Like, with there was like a sound for each time he dodged, and it was just really you you had your eyes stuck to the screen like every with a with a you know shit eating grin on your face because everything's just crazy that's going on even <laughs> this is another thing i like like uh got or the uh the zenos were go were go like when goku was like with let me rephrase that when goku had the shenron voice going on in the background that's what it sounds like when he's like going blah or whatever with his fists attacking kefla Zanos were going, he's going, blah, blah, like, they're yelling, blah, blah, and then, uh, God, then the God priest, or the Grand Priest says he's going quite blah after the Zenos were saying that, and I thought that was kind of funny, um, because the Grand Priest isn't really exactly known for his humor, but he played along with it. Now, I just want to go into the end of the, or the second half of the episode, which really reminded me of, like, a Dragon Ball Z fight. Like, it was just so amazingly chore, like, the choreography was amazing for the battles. Like, everything just looked good in terms of the fights, or the every, like, the battles between Kefla and Goku, like, the impact, besides just the impacts, but, like, every scene just looked so cool. Like, I, I'll have some scenes playing in this episode that were my favorite, but, um, I, no complaints in that area, especially in my favorite, and then, of course, when it gets into the last scene with Goku and Kefla powering up, uh, and for one final blow, basically, Kefla is going into a flight or fight stage, which I, I thought was pretty cool, because she's the last hope for Universe 6, and so she just goes all out, like, she's half Broly, half Khalifla, basically, just, like, using their powers, just going oh my god, like, it just looks so good, just everything she was doing, it looked like she could fuck up anybody that came in her way, but Goku was dodging everything, it looked so cool how he's dodging everything, like, the, it was, the choreography was really good, and it wasn't exactly a lot of reused animation, especially, I don't think there was any for that last scene, which, you know, that's why I really can still love this episode, um, and so then it just, get, obviously, uh, Goku defeats Kefla, and I thought that that was how it was supposed to be, but, you know, it puts Universe 6 into the situation where they're probably going to be the next ones eliminated. I mean, I just see the uh, Universe 6 Namakians fusing and then <laughs> getting their ass kicked by Ultimate Gohan or Piccolo. I heard next episode or two episodes from now, I think a universe is going to be erased, so that could be Universe 6. And then next episode... Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to be sad with the universe six being erased, but you know, Goku and, or Vegeta is going to just revive them back when they win. And, uh, and now I'm just going to talk about a few more things. I like this episode. The Kai of universe six is just hilarious. I love that animation. We, he was just going out of character and just like, uh, the, the, like the animation looked very like loft frames for just him, uh, freaking out over Kefla and just like his fat jiggling. It was pretty funny. I liked it. Uh, the anime, or just the, I, the humor in Dragon Ball Super is getting a lot better, in my opinion, just, like, because it's very subtle, but it works in the universe, and it's funny, 
And that's basically what I wanted to talk about with this episode. I mean, obviously, there's other things to talk about, like Jiren hopping in. He's not meditating anymore. I mean, may, he, I, I liked how he didn't go in and attack Goku. And I recommend, if you haven't read it yet, go read Dragon Ball Super Chapter, manga chapter uh, number 30, because it actually gives Jiren a lot more characterization that I think is going to apply to the show that they, may, they might mention later. But I guess Jiren won't kill anybody unless he has to or something, or like he, he he refuses to kill people and he didn't even want to enter the tournament, but he has a secret wish that he wants to grant or he wants to have. And, uh, I wonder what that is, but frankly, uh, that's probably why he doesn't, uh, go in and attack Goku while he's down on the count. He's not that type of person. He's a bit more honorable than that. And, uh, it's going to wait for Goku to get his strength back because obviously when he went ultra instinct against Kefla, that's when he came out of his meditation. So he's obviously very interested in Goku. He saw the surprise Kamehameha, which I must say that was the best part about this episode. Just him basically using his Kamehameha to like ski over Kefla's like Broly blast. And it looks so cool. And like her Kefla's face was just like dumbfounded. And I just love that part. Definitely. And just like, that's what made this episode. One of the best episodes in Dragon Ball Super. I'd put it up there with the beer or not the beer is the, um, Goku or Zamasu versus Vegito fight. That's one of my favorites. I'd also put it up there with hit versus Goku. The first one I'd put it up there with, um, I mean, I Jiren versus Goku. That I'd say that like it's in the top five fights of the series so far. It made me like Kefla a lot more. Like, like it, it made sense why she was powerful. It probably was a little bit too powerful, but you know, it was probably the Broly thing, which I hope they elaborate on more because, you know, after the tournament of power, granted, if Universe Seven does survive, which they have to because of the end of Dragon Ball Z, but you know, uh, we're probably gonna go see Planet Vegeta or the 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 Universe Six version of where the, Sa the Saiyans are, and we're gonna probably get more backstory on Khalifa Kale and uh, Kaba and everybody else there. It's gonna be really cool. I love Dragon Ball Super right now. That's why I wanted to make some videos on it. I'm just gonna give this a video or a rating, just a generic great rating for this episode. I, I mean, the only complaints were the animations being reused. They need to hire Naoshida and Takahashi full time. I don't get why Toei doesn't do that. I mean, I think that they're more or less freelancers and they don't want to be stuck to one project, but. You know, like, it would go a long way just having the animation just be consistent all the time, which it's gotten a ton better since the early days of Dragon Ball Super, and I just love the fact that Dragon Ball Super is even a thing. I, Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorite, chi my favorite childhood, you know, anime, so it's just like a treat every week having to get new episodes and just getting a nostalgia trip every week, so... Uh, I hope everything uh, you like the you like this video, guys. I know I'm not exactly looking to the webcam all the time. I need to get a better setup, uh, but I do have a blue Yeti microphone, so my audio does sound a lot better. And I'm gonna keep making videos, at least on Dragon Ball Super. Hopefully, One Piece too, because oh my gosh, Kata Curry versus Luffy, dog! Like we gotta make some videos on that maybe a live reaction i'd like to make some videos on bleach give some final thoughts on the end of the series because i did uh, uh, some of my more popular videos were on the bleach series and then also one punch man that was my most holy crap guys you guys gave that 120,000 views uh insane like thank you so much for that it was actually really encouraging also thank you very much for 800 subscribers like we're almost about to hit a thousand here so you know i'm gonna try to stay consistent and hope you hopefully you guys stay stick around for the ride and if you enjoyed this video give it a rating and perhaps give it a comment or share it to your friends have a good one Wait.